Get it! Hello and welcome to D6 Damage. You can't deny that dual wielding is pretty darn cool. But unfortunately, I have to ask a question. How useful is to weapon fighting really? Alright, let's start off by looking at some of the penalties that you take from fighting with two weapons at once. Under ordinary conditions, fighting with two weapons means that in your primary hand, you'll be taking a negative 6, and in your offhand, you'll be taking a negative 10 to hit. Now those are some pretty big penalties. Fortunately, there are some things you can do to alleviate that. First off, there's the essential feat to weapon fighting. This decreases both penalties to negative 4. Now, if you have a light weapon in your offhand, this decreases both penalties by another negative 2. This will leave you taking a negative 2 to hit with both your primary and your offhand. So, for attempting to fight with two weapons at once, you take a permanent negative 2 to hit. Alright, now let's talk about some feats and the requirement for those feats. So, like I said, the essential two-weapon fighting feat requires you to have a dex of 15. There's also another extremely important feat called Double Slice. Now, normally, when you're attacking with your offhand weapon, you'll be only able to add half your strength modifier. With Double Slice, you get to add your full strength modifier to damage with your offhand weapon. Now, as you go along, you'll have access to other feats, including Improved to Weapon Fighting, which gives you another attack at a negative 10. Improved to Weapon requires a dex of 17 and a BAB, that's base attack bonus, of 6. Then there's Greater to Weapon Fighting, which gives you another attack at a negative 10. This requires a dex of 19 and a base attack bonus of 11. There are, of course, other feats such as Two Weapon Defense, which gives you a plus 1 to AC, and Two Weapon Rend, which adds an extra D10 to damage, if you can hit with both your offhand and your main hand attack. Alright, now, if you choose to go the Two Weapon Fighting route, what weapon should you pick? Well, if you want the biggest bang for your buck, I highly recommend the One-Handed Bastard Sword. This gives you a full D10 hit die. But you can't go wrong with one of the D8 slashing weapons like the Longsword. Now, then there's your offhand weapon, again, which is an essential choice. And you can't go wrong with a short sword. That's a d6 hit die, so not bad. Okay, now let's actually break down the numbers and see what you can mechanically get out of two-weapon fighting. Let's assume a level 1 fighter with an 18 in strength. This gives him a plus 4 to damage. Now, I'm choosing to assume that he's using the Bastard Sword. That means with his primary hand, he hits for 1d10 plus 4. The average damage on that is going to be 9 points. With his offhand, he'll have a short sword that's 1d6, again plus 4, since as a fighter, he could take two-weapon fighting, exotic weapon proficiency, and double slice at first level. Now, that offhand will average 7 points of damage per hit. This puts him at 16 points of damage per round. Again, just an average. Now here's the problem part, he will only have a plus 3 to hit. Alright, let's compare him to another fighter with a greatsword. Now our two-handing greatsword fighter will do 2d6. Again, if he has an 18 in strength, he'll be able to add his strength, plus, because it's a two-handed weapon, strength and a half. So that's going to be 2d6 plus 6. The average damage on that will be 12 points per round. Now, for the two-hand fighter, he'll have a plus five to hit. So, as you can see, the theoretical damage maximum is higher for two-weapon fighting. However, those penalties to hit do have to be taken into account. And if you've played any amount of D&D, you understand that occasionally you're going to be rolling two, three, four, seven, and just lowball numbers like that. And even though a negative two doesn't sound like a lot, it can still be enough to throw your game off. However, that's a personal choice that's ultimately up to you and what you want to do with your character. Two-weapon fighting can also be highly augmented by magic weapons and certain enchantments, especially against certain creature types. Also, if you have a friend or a class feature which allows you to poison your weapon and have it retain its poison quality longer, two-weapon fighting is also potentially a good idea. Finally, I'd like to point out that two-weapon fighting can also be helpful for certain ranged fighting classes like alchemists and gunslingers. Now, both of their weapons, alchemist bombs and gunslinger guns, count as ranged weapons, never light weapons. So you'll be taking that negative four. However, because both of these weapons go off touch, a negative four isn't really that big a deal. 
If you're curious about how Touch AC works, check out my armor class video right here on D6 Damage. Thank you for watching, and if you're interested in more class analysis or strategy videos for Pathfinder or D&D, check out D6 Damage right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.